Negative media is everywhere, draining the life out of you. Everywhere you go is some form of toxicity. Your phone, your TV, ads that have taken over your YouTube when you're just trying to peacefully watch some Lord Ecom. And before you know it, you've turned 40 and you're still in the same exact position you were when you started, facing your nine to five job, unhappy, a slave to society. This is the modern day struggle we all go through. How do I separate myself from the average and become who I want to be? Well, let me tell you how right now. The first thing, you have to change your environment. If I'm gonna sit in a place where there's constant yelling and bickering and things that are clouding up my mental space, I can't sit through it and progress my life. I'm always gonna have this clutter in my head and I can't get away from it because I'm trapped in a toxic environment. Now the next thing, when I figured that I wanted to make a change, I hopped right into Instagram, declutter, unfollow everybody who I did not mess with at the time or they were dragging me down or just posting toxic shit and like stupid memes and everything that wasn't contributing to my success, I unfollowed them. I didn't want to see them when I log on to those social platforms. You don't need all of that stuff, all of that drama pouring into your soul when you're just trying to make it and become successful. If you don't need it, dump it. Another cool thing that actually helped me out was when I set limits on my phone for the apps I use, like Instagram, all social media, Snapchat. So I'm only on there for like 30 minutes a day. And once that goes off, I have to put my phone in my closet closet and just get away from it, go outside, do anything. The next thing, move across the country, get away from where you grew up. It's a life hack. I moved from New York to Florida, get away from your hometown. I love the people from there, but they're not going to grow with me the way I want to grow. Surround yourself with better people because once you move away from your hometown and you're in a complete different place, you have no friends, you have no family. All I have is the laptop in front of me. It's going to force me to work and become successful. Delete all your Netflix accounts, all your Hulu accounts. You don't need that shit. It's charging your credit card, but even more importantly, it's taking your focus away from what's more important. And that's why my Hulu had to go. Another thing, if you're the type of person who lacks discipline, hang up motivating reminders, set reminders on your phone that make you work how you're supposed to and start building discipline for yourself. If you could brush your teeth every day, you could go to the gym every day. Just got to do it. Set these reminders to help you out. The next thing, change your environment, your body inside and out. You got to eat better. You got to drink better. Go to the gym, work out, do those curls, do 10 squats, go run 10 miles, go run one mile, whatever you can do, just go and do it and help yourself out because a good gut is a good mental space and good physical shape is a good mind. Changing your environment doesn't have to be what you eat. It doesn't have to be where you physically are. It can also be what you wear. So wear positive clothing, nothing negative. And if you see anything negative around you that's bringing you down or makes you think of bad memories in the past, either remove it, hide it, throw it out, do something about it, but don't keep negative things in your environment. Now, I actually made a rule because I used to suffer from a lot of negative thoughts. I still do sometimes, but I built a rule that helps make it a lot better. For every negative and toxic thought you have, replace it with a good thought right away. So if you're like thinking about, damn, me and my friend had that falling out three years ago that really sucked and then he died and, and this happened and that happened. I wish I could have all taken it back. But then immediately you're like thinking, okay, I can't do anything about it. And like think on what you can do right now. So if you have a negative and toxic thought of people calling you a loser, you were a loser all throughout high school. What are you right now? I'm a winner. Fuck what they call me. I'm going to be the greatest. I'm going to move forward and I'm going to do everything that they're not able to do. I'm actually dope. So go and get it. Don't let other people drag you down. All right, bet. Good thought. Now, if you really want to become wealthy, keep going until you hit success. What do you want to do to get the money to get your back? Surround yourself with great people who are like you on the same mission. You share the same values and these people will make you a better person and they will make you harder to kill financially, spiritually, mentally, physically. Did I say financially? You could also limit contact to people who are draining, just sucking the energy out of you. Nobody likes a negative Nancy. If they don't provide value to you and they keep on leeching on whatever you have to offer, that person isn't right for you. Let them find other negative people. Go and find your positive people. Go and find your people who want to become wealthy. Another thing is don't watch porn. Don't watch any toxic content on TikTok, Instagram. Like I said, unfollow all those pages. Limit your use of social media device, just stay away from content that's haram. Everything you consume on any social media platform should have a purpose for you going forward and that's going to help your life become better in some sort of way. So if I'm on Instagram, there's a reason I'm watching this post. Either it's motivating me to accomplish my day through discipline or it's telling me a business strategy that I can use and implement in my business. Make sure it's useful to you or don't consume it. Now this one kind of ties into the environment. Live in a place with zero distractions. Like my place, I have nothing 
everything around. I have one chair, I have my desk, my laptop, and I don't have anything that I don't need. So if things are throwing you off, your video games, you have a TV, you have a bunch of toys or something, I don't know what you do, but get rid of it because you're gonna use it, you're gonna play it, you're gonna watch your TV if it's there. If it's gone, it won't distract you. Just like junk food. If it's in your house, you're gonna eat it, but if you have fruit and whatever else, good healthy food, nice chicken, rice, brown rice, good meal, you're gonna eat that instead of the junk food. So with this, if the thing isn't going to help lead you to success, you don't need it. This one is really important to me. If you say you're going to do something, then do it. There is a ton of people who aren't true to their word, and even sometimes I haven't been true to my word. I'm not perfect, but as I learn this, I'm very self-aware. I go forward and I always try to be true to my word. So I try to not say things if I'm not going to do it. The worst promises you can break are those to yourself. So if you tell yourself, I'm going to go to the gym today, I'm going to do three sets of this, three sets of that, I'm going to do 20, 100 squats, you better do 20, 100 squats or don't say it. I said I was going to run 13 miles and I ran 13 miles and I never ran 13 miles before. I'm so proud of myself. If I would have broke that promise to myself, I just feel like I wouldn't be able to become successful. What other promise am I going to break next? So when you say something, you do it. Now guys, check in on the screen right here. Here's some tools for focused work and life improvement that have absolutely changed my life. Here's two Google extensions. The first one, ad block for YouTube. I was so sick and tired of seeing ads and also ads waste so much of my time. So it blocks ads on YouTube. Ad block for YouTube. Great, amazing tool. The next one is unhook, which is great because it hides YouTube home feed recommended videos and it hides more things to like sidebars and you can control what's hidden on YouTube. So you go into YouTube and you don't have everything recommended for you on the homepage. I go into my YouTube and it's a blank screen basically. And I type in what I need to and I have my subscription list of like the five people I'm subscribed to. I don't get distracted. I watch the content that helps me progress with my life and I get off. The next app I use is a food app for the iPhone and it's amazing. It's a food barcode scanner that tells you what food is healthy, what food is bad. And I improved my eating habits just by that because I think what you eat reflects to your mental state, how you feel overall. After I switched up what I eat, I feel 10 times better every single day. This iPhone app is called Yuka. I highly recommend to get it and you start eating better if you want to improve your life. Now, if you do all of these things, you're probably going to be not used to it and it's going to be very different from how you live your life now. Even if you do 20% of these things, you're going to have a lot more time, especially if you move across the US or you move to a complete different country to improve your life. So what do I do for entertainment? Here are a bunch of things that you can do. You can learn on YouTube, take a course, build a drop shipping business or any other business you want. You could go to the gym every day, and get absolutely ripped. You have anger. That is the best fuel and the best energy source to go out and crush your goals, become disciplined. I've never seen somebody get absolutely ripped like The Rock, like Arnold Schwarzenegger without battling some demons. So if you have some demons, go to the gym every day, get absolutely ripped. That's a really good activity that will take your mind off of whatever is eating you alive inside or whatever else. Declutter your space and declutter your home. So you could declutter your space and you could clean your home. You can get yourself a mentor. Network with amazing people is a great way to spend your time. Make sure they're on the same mission as you so you level each other up. My Skype group, it's in the description. If you want to learn more about dropshipping, go in there. It's free to join. You could join Facebook groups. You could use the meetup app to meet up with people around you on the same mission or whatever you want to do. If you want to do yoga, if you want to go to the gym, if you want to build a business, there's groups on the meetup app. You could practice a new skill over and over again until you're a master. Something I got into was juggling. <laughs> I don't know why I started doing it. It was good. Now when I'm bored, I just get three socks and I juggle them around because I'm freaking bored. Well, so what else am I going to do? And juggling is freaking fun. When I'm with people, now I have a skill I can impress them. It's dope. Go outside. You're not getting enough fresh air. Get walks. You can meditate. You could stretch if you have tight muscles. You could learn karate. You could play sports. You could learn jujitsu. You could learn taekwondo. Do something that's fun. If you want to become wealthy, you got to keep your creative. So you could even like freestyle rap. Just you're bored. Throw on a beat. Start rapping. Rap about good stuff. Don't rap about fat ass. Don't rap about twerking. Don't rap about getting all this money when you have none and you're not working for it. If you're going to rap about money, make sure you're working for it. Stay disciplined. You could write if you're if you're a writer. You can read a good book that's progressing your life. Cash for advertising. Great book for advertising. You could read business books. You could read self-help books. Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. One of the best books I've ever read. He actually made a new book. I'm probably going to buy it. Or you can plan your steps to becoming successful. If you're in a rut and you don't know what to do and you just moved across the country, what do I do with my life? Get a sheet of paper, get a pen, write out the plan that will make you successful. Now, the number one key of this whole entire video, don't wait till tomorrow. Do not say I'm going to do something. Oh, but it could wait till tomorrow. That's like you're waiting till New Year's and it's going to come in two weeks. It'll never come. 
come. Those New Year's resolutions only stick with like 3% of people. So I promise you, if you do at least 50% of these things, you don't even have to do 60, 70%. You don't have to do all of them. It's 90% of what I think it takes to become successful. Try it out. Don't start tomorrow. Start today. Go through this video again and become wealthy. This is how you do.